one of the most beautiful states in America, Florida. It's known around the world. People come here from around the world for many things from Disney World to uh, concerts to the beautiful beaches. Some people say that Florida has the best beaches in the country, better than California. And it's a magical place, literally. And so for people who gravitate towards beaches over mountains, for people who gravitate to tropical environments versus desert, for that type of person, Florida is the palm tree heaven that you seek. The only question will be, do you become a full-time Floridian or a snowbird? Now, chances are, if even if you're a snowbird, you're going to register as a Floridian. Uh, technically, if you live here six months and one day, half a year, basically, you know, you can take advantage of the no state income tax uh, and make this your winter haven and be what they call a snowbird. And as I make this video, we're approaching the last days of April. And, and this weekend, a lot of the snowbirds, their lease is up because they rent uh, or they just systematically, they leave May 1st. Uh, there's not many snowbirds left here. A lot of them, a lot of them leave at the end of March because a lot of the Canadians, people from a different country, they come to Florida and they usually leave at the end of March, beginning of April. And now the last bit of snowbirds are getting ready to go up north. And for me, uh, I made the decision after visiting a little bit, I thought about being a snowbird, but I, I recognize that that doesn't work for me. Here's why. I don't like to travel and follow crowds. To me, the best time to be in Florida is the summer because the crowds are little to none. There's only locals. And it really does not get bad as far as like high humidity and, and peak hurricane season till fall, till September. So, you know, and that's the best time, in my opinion, to go up north. So in my experience, 90% of the year, if there's 12 months in a year, 10 months is 90% of the year. So 10 months out of the year, I want to be in Florida at least. So to me, that makes the calculation of being a full-time resident, of possibly getting a home base, uh, not being an RVer that travels with the seasons. Because I've been to North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Vermont, uh, Washington, D.C., Virginia, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, and they're all shit. The beaches suck. The stores suck. The vibe sucks. Uh, that's bottom line. People lie to you. People lie to themselves. Or we're just different. But I'm telling you who I am. I'm a full-time Floridian. Uh, a beach is not a beach unless it has palm trees, coconuts, and teal color water. Uh, a supermarket is not a supermarket unless it's a public sprouts or fresh market. If, if you have any winter clothing, you're not my friend. Okay. You're not my friend. I want to tell you, Seth knows Seth. How packed is the Jersey Shore going to be on Memorial Day? How many locals are going to start to curse all the snowbirds that are coming back up north? I'll tell you a lot. Because I know a couple big chicks lived on the Jersey Shore. And they got mad as hell. When all the out-of-towners, even in their own state, even when all the people in New Jersey, when they lived inland, when they came to their coastal town, these big chicks got upset that was on their boardwalk eating their funnel cakes. They couldn't wait till the fall. I want to tell you, Florida for the win. Get a home base. Don't get a Class B. <laughs> That's what I would tell you. Don't just take advantage of the no state income tax in Florida. Take advantage of the 90% of the year where it outbeats any state. Because I can tell you guys from experience that the crowds starting Memorial Day and on, and it's not going to get nice till at least Memorial Day into June, they suck. Okay. I hate crowds. And I, I don't like non-tropical environments. You know, once you, once you drive north and you go into Georgia... Guys, even as you go up to North Florida, it sucks. 
And then once you get out of Georgia, guys, you might as well throw your suntan lotion out the window and put on a cowboy hat. You say, well, in the summer, it could be just as hot in Georgia and other places. It can. You're not going to see palm trees. Yeah. You're not going to see a tropical environment. You're going to see, a, uh, you know, some, um, some other type of environment. So I want to tell you, I've seen them. I've traveled. I've lived it. And so I love this time of year, uh, the summer, because Florida's all mine. I love finding areas I like and staying there. To me, the whole point of being a nomad, and my, this is me, I share, I show up. Remember, when you show up, when you take the promotion, you dictate the culture. Remember, when you don't show up, shut up and listen. Remember, when you don't show up, shut up and listen. So, for me, traveling just to travel is not exciting. You, you, you don't have a good daily routine. You lost that. See, traveling to you is your escape. It's your, it's your endorphins that get you high. If you're not working on your daily routine, uh, you're just someone who can't afford rent, so you're living in your car. If that's the case, if you don't focus on your career and side hustles, hey, guys, go watch Bob Wells, where he has an assistant screen his fucking things. Come on, guys. What type of people are you? So in this world, which could be harsh, I think the pandemic proved it. Uh, if it's going to be harsh, you want to be locked down in Florida. Florida shined in a lockdown. It's not just because of politics, but because look, if you have to be locked down somewhere, you want to be locked down in Florida. And I know the argument, what about hurricanes? Ask, Seth, ask someone in New Jersey, Hurricane Sandy, on Halloween. Ask Tornado Alley during tornado season. Ask forest fires. Ask anyone that everything has negatives. But 90% positive is 100% win. Full-time Floridian. Full-time Floridian with a vacation in the fall. That's the message tonight. Let's give a hand clap for all our full-time Floridians. Not the entitled ones, not the ones that don't, I don't care, guys. Everyone come visit. You have a right to visit. Everyone come stay. I don't care. But I know people. People have this idea that they're going to travel with the seasons. And they're going to travel with the crowds. And that's not the type of life I like. I like to have my own peace. I like a daily routine and then only a little bit of variety. I worked hard to develop my daily routine, not, not to travel forever. Uh, travel occasionally with a good daily routine. That's your permanent vacation. I'm, I'm in a state, Florida, where they call it a staycation. Not where you lie to yourself and you live in Connecticut and, you know, you try to make your house like this bunker where it's a staycation. Nah, come on, guys. <laughs> Don't lie to yourself. So, I'm the type of guy that never been to Disney World, don't want to go to Disney World. <laughs> but I'm living such a magical life for me where I could see coconut trees, where I can be outside, where that inspires me. And so that's the message tonight. Uh, click that thumbs up. Click that blue join button. Leave a comment below. Show up or shut up. <laughs> yeah, guys, just start telling people show up or shut up. Because if you don't show up, guys, no one wants to hear what you got to say. Why? You don't, you don't do the work. You don't, you're not present. If you can't pay your rent, don't live in your car. Why? Because it, guys, you're not going to save money living in your car. You're not going to be living in your car for more than a year. And you're not working on your income. You're trying to save your way to prosperity. You can't do that. You actually have to put some effort into your life. It's easy for me because I already established a career. I picked up a side hustle. Okay, so guys, Michael Jordan makes a layup look easy. Inspirational Nomad makes living in your car look easy. Why? I did all the work. Okay. So you say, well, Destitute Debbie makes it look easy. Yeah. Does she show up every day? Does she go live every day? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. She don't, she don't spend time with you. She'll tell you anything. I'll tell you anything. So you guys, look, you want the Disney experience or you want the real life experience? Okay. You want to run from your problems or you want to build your best life? Okay. That's what I want to know tonight. All right, we're going to all live comments. Good to see everyone tonight. John A., happy Friday, Sam. It's the best. It's almost like every day is Friday, but Friday is even a little extra special. 
Uh, Frank and Cat, yo, what's up? Charlie, very positive. Good to see you, man. I appreciate you. Uh, Graham R.A., good evening, Sam. Good evening to you. Marcy, good evening, Sam. Great to see you, Marcy. Charlie, gorgeous thumbnail. I love it. Um, uh, Charlie, I want to tell you this, brother. When I had a condo in New Jersey, I had paintings like that picture on my thumbnail with a palm tree, uh, beautiful water pictures. I gave them all away. And now I don't need those pictures on my wall. Why? I'm, I see them every day. It's my reality. Tasting salt water in my mouth with beautiful teal color ocean. You say, I'm, go I'm going on a trip to South Carolina for the summer. Well, I want to tell you, the beaches are as nice. I've been there. You tell me, well, I'm going to move to North Carolina. And guys, look, I got some great people I know moving to North Carolina. Uh, guys, no, that's not it for me, for me, for just for me, for me. Just my personal feeling. Let's go back to these live comments. Callie, yo, Sam, glad to see you showed up. Keep it up, bro. Thank you. You're inspiring to a lot of us. Thank you for the live feed. Thank you, Callie, for the great comment. I appreciate that. Blue, what's up? Good evening, pal. Good to see you. Seth, hey, Sam. Good to see you on the boardwalk today, Wendy. <laughs> well, love to you, brother. I, I did some videos, Seth, from the boardwalk uh, when it was cold years ago. Uh, seaside, uh, Wildwood. Uh, was I in uh, Long Branch, too? Uh, all throughout the Jersey Shore. I actually like Spring Lake uh, in New Jersey, right below Belmar. That's a nice walk. If you walk from Spring Lake Park through Belmar, then up into, uh, what is that? The Bruce Springsteen land. Where, where is that? Uh, Asbury Park and all that. That's a nice walk. Uh, if you go a little bit, yeah. But I know where you're at, man. Shout out to you, Seth. Hey, man, you got out there, you walked, you kicked ass. That's the main thing. I'm proud of you, brother. Good job. Because I remember, Seth, I remember when I met you and your girl or, or whatever she used to. And I remember she said she'd been to Florida. She don't like Florida. I think about that statement sometimes. I'm walking, I can hear her voice. So I, I've been to Florida, I don't, I don't like you. I, and I respect her, I respect you. But I, for, for me, I, I get that. I get why people say, I don't, for me, I like, I hear that and I'm like, I know Florida's for me. You know, I don't know why, but that always, I remember that out of our meeting, that's the one sentence I remember. I remember her saying, I try Florida, I don't like Florida. I remember saying, yeah. Uh, Sophie, greetings to all in the chat. Let's have a fun chat. Let's do it, Sophie. We showed up. Peace and blessings to us uh, and everyone. And no, not too much religion, but blessings, okay? Because I don't, I, you know, just faith and everyone do whatever religion they want. Okay, but that's it. Uh, everyone do it or no religion. I don't care. Because that's the First Amendment right in the Constitution of America. You can believe in any religion or no religion. Okay, so everyone do what they want. Just leave me alone. Good job. Seth, strong in a post. Exactly, Seth. You have, yeah, beats all year round. Good job, Seth. You're killing it tonight. Good job. You're, see, that's what happens, Seth, when you walk. You leave more comments. You're engaged. Your blood's flowing. When you don't walk, you're like a cold DiGiorno pizza. The cheese is hard and fucking nasty. Good job, Sophie. I saw Vero Beats that Nomad showed us. Wow, is all I got to say. Nomad is correct. And what are you saying tonight? At least I am agreeing with them. I appreciate that. Frank and Cat, long time no see. Love to you, man. I appreciate that. I remember you. That Thank you. Early Roger. Hello, Sam. Direct deposit day. Good job. Check was nice. You told me you've been working extra. I thought about that today. I've been working 50, 60 hours a week. Well, get that money and uh, keep doing your thing, man. Sophie. No man is right. The beaches suck in the Carolinas. Yep. Been there, done that. I live here. Oh, thank you for sharing. And I agree with no man is right anyway. Yeah, I am at that. Good job, Sophie. You're on fire. Guys and girls, can you believe it? I've been on here for 15 minutes. Can you believe it? There's some people who don't show up and they want to tell you about something. <laughs> I don't want to hear about none of it. Power Stroke. I'm a South Florida native. Well, love and respect you. Appreciate you leaving a comment. I know a lot of people left South Florida and then they want to come back. Uh, I, I say welcome to anyone who wants to come. You know, most people end up leaving. Why? Because they have family in other parts of the state. They get too old to come. They get too old to enjoy the beach. It does get hot. It does. It's pretty much at the end of the summer, as you get to August, September, and October, people get tired of the heat. But like I tell you, strategically plan a vacation 
in September and October. That's the best months to get out of the state. Uh, but everyone takes a vacation anyway. So just take a vacation that time. That's all. Frank and Cat been keeping. Uh, see, I have had the blessing to travel in the state, out of the state several times. And I want to tell you guys, ain't much going on outside of Florida. Of course, there's economic opportunity. Of course, there's other things in other places. But I want to tell you guys, I, I saw some RVers today. I know. Well, I don't know, but I, they're on YouTube. I watch them. And they, they was in Florida and they left. And they know they got a good spot. And they going to find out. You should have focused on buying a home base. Because what you're going to find in Maine <laughs> or what you're going to find in the Carolinas, what you're going to find at courtside <laughs> is a bunch of nothing. Okay? Yeah. That's, now, if you into nothing, if you into no beaches, okay, if you into big chicks who are very territorial about their funnel cakes, oh, I want to tell you, if you're into the Carolinas, where when you go to a Planet Fitness at the Carolinas, guys, it ain't tropical oasis. It's right next to Winn Dixie. Okay. Uh, and it's it's like guys, like, you know what I mean? Planet Fitness, like poverty social services office. Like, you know what I mean? Like you go to the Planet Fitness in the Carolinas, you don't know people sign up for subsidies or they're going to work out on their abs. Like you don't understand. I've been there. So I want to tell I gotta tell you guys because people ain't telling you. And what I want to tell you is full-time Florida. That's what I want to tell you. This is my opinion. The good parts of Florida. Don't go moving to Ocala, these crazy parts. The, uh, the West Coast try to avoid, my opinion. So, this is what I tell you. Everyone should do what they want. Uh, all right, back to live comments. If I missed a comment, please type it again. Don't take that disrespect. Uh, Frank and Cat. Been keeping... Uh, been keeping up here and there. What you say? Well, you keep doing your thing. I don't. I, no one knows me or anything, but I appreciate all the positive people and thank you to all my members, Sophie. But had some things going on here in Texas. Well, I understand. I love you, man, Frank and Cat. But I showed up tonight. I appreciate that. Shout out to you, Seth, Sam. You are you are intuitive, walked and more involved. You got that blood flowing, man. Uh, blood flow delivers nutrients and oxygens to yourself. And your cells are your body. And I could tell, man, you're all pumped up. Uh, that's what you need, man. Get you fired up. Early riser. I have been to Florida three to four times and I loved it. My profile pics is of me riding the bike, Florida, from Cocoa Beach to Spring Hill. Get back down here, man. I could see you doing it. There's a lot of bikers down here. And I, they annoy me a little bit because it's like they're not a car, but they're on the streets like it's a car. But I say, hey, you know, everyone's got to do their thing. I get it. I get it. Seth. No lazy sloth. Seth, you're killing it. Seth, big chicks and funnel cakes. Yeah, you know what it is. You see it. Seth, you're too funny. Well, laughter's good for soul. Power stroke. I love being about to go to the Bahamas by boat in two hours. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a boat guy and I don't like cruises, but look, we're right on the Caribbean. So Puerto Rico, Cuba, uh, Dominican Republic, uh, uh, you name the place, guys. We're right there. So, uh, yeah, uh, Pat Go. Hey, Pat Go. What's up, Pat? Good to see you. Hey, Sam. I had seared New York strip steak and steamed broccoli. All right, threw some greens in there. And sweet potatoes. Mm -mm -mm. Pat, the hardest working hospice worker in the Upper Peninsula. The Upper Peninsula is pretty much the butt crack of Canada, but it's in the United States of America. So years ago, guys, America was founded. We traded and we got Russia to give us Alaska. And then we had a, a, a trade deal with Canada. And Canada said, well, we'll take universal health care for the win and we'll give you the upper peninsula of Michigan. And we said, okay, we'll take that. <laughs> yeah. And now, like, like Pat Go said, like Pat Go said, I'll trade you, okay, your frown for her crying. Why? Because that's a hard life. You better believe she don't give a fuck about no gout, okay? She going to eat that New York sirloin steak and everything tonight. Now, I want to tell you, Pat Go, I got a good friend. He's suffering from the gout. You better stop that damn meat. 
Because that meat's going to fuck you up. Okay? You don't want to mess with that meat. You deal with hospice. You see these destitute people. Uh, Super day. Vehicle insurance is much higher in Florida. Move back to Cali. Huh. Tax is much higher in Cali. You hustling backwards. But if you, it all depends where you're making more money. What type of financial literature are you reading where if your car insurance is too high, you move to a higher tax state? It's about your income. It's about managing your expenses. Rich people don't care about inflation. Rich people don't care about registration. And poor people can't afford to live in California. So even either you are poor and delusional or you're rich and hustling backwards or you just have a preference for California because your family's from there, you grew up from there and you feel welcome amongst Skid Row. Either way, uh, you should do a video about it. But I showed up, I'm gonna talk about what I wanna talk about. Frank Cat, you get one of those cooling pillows I told you about a few months ago. Hell no, it's gonna be getting hot again. I may be getting a home base again. I ain't get no damn cooling pillow. Shit. Come on, man. I did two summers in Florida, no air conditioning. Two winters in New, in New Jersey, no heating blanket, okay? That stuff is for nomads who go on the road, they go off the road. They disappear like you, Frank and Cat. You're gone. Why are you gone? Because you're inconsistent. Go back to Texas, handle your business. Don't tell me about a cooling pillow. See, that's what I mean. You haven't been to the job site, Frank and Cat, in months. Now you come on, you're telling me about a pillow, you're telling me about this. Hey, hey, I show up every day, okay? I've been showing up while you've been slacking. So you just don't worry about no damn cooling pillow. You just watch this free entertainment, okay? I know it's hard because I only got 50% of people that even click the thumbs up, okay? But what I want to tell you is this. We're good. I love you, okay? Let's stay positive. Space Day Zero, thank you for being a member. Subsizing these lazy sloths. Sam, it's good to see my guy. Good to see you, man. Good to see good people amongst the uh, artillery fire over here. Been watching all these replays. Boy, you're consistent. That's what I'm talking about. You keeping a fresh preacher rag close, right on standby, okay? Always. Why? Because in this world, if you're not sweating, you're not living, okay? I want to tell you guys, I pay to sweat, okay? That's what I'm talking about. I'll pay higher uh, car insurance. Seth, mention gout and South Carolina today. Then... You did. Wow. I want to tell you, I know gout's a real thing, man. It's, it's uh, a friend really suffering from it. Uh, thank you, Seth. Space Daddy. Also, what's your pros and cons for owning a condo versus house, in your opinion? I don't like either. Why? Condo, you share a wall and a house, you have to take care of the roof and the landscaping. I like an RV lot, which is structured like a condominium complex. You deal with an HOA, but you don't deal with landscaping and a roof. And you're just buying a place to park. Okay. Uh, if you're a single person, that's all you need. Uh, so a single family house, guys, is for a, a married couple or someone who likes to work on property. Um, a condo could be good, but it's like a hotel. They're very nice inside. You don't have to take care of much, but Guys, those walls close in on you and the people next to you, they're you gotta you gotta find the right condo. Okay. Or else you're pretty much gonna be living with a group of other people. It's the easy there's no exact thing, but that's how I feel. Seth. Two winners in Jersey. Yep, you know what it is. Good job, Seth. Seth, super day. I can appreciate your view. Thank you. I like Florida and California. Both places are okay with me. Well, you're in the middle. You're not you you haven't see Florida's extreme. You gotta choose. Because they're two different environments. But I respect you. No disrespect. All I'm trying to tell you is that you chose. You chose California. Because you because of what you told me, Florida's got too high registration. You chose. So enjoy your choice and make the most of it. Good job, Seth. Good job, Sam. Thank you. Early riser. I was also in Orlando. No ocean air. For a softball tournament. Yeah, you're going to play softball. You ain't going to be surfing. Jupiter wants for vacation. You'd like to go there. And one year, shout out to Justin. And one year, Fort Myers. I, I got a good guy, loves Fort Myers. I don't like the West Coast of Florida. Too too low energy. For spring break baseball, yep. Florida had an awesome feel to it. It's tropical paradise. I had a great time. Come back, brother, soon. Frank and Cat. I've been working. Well, so have I. This is my second job. Putting in my hours. Good. Yeah, don't tell me about a pillow. What, do you work for a pillow company? But it's cool. Yeah, I know it's cool. This is my second job. Yeah, we're good. Pedro, what's up, man? Putting in the work. Second, second, second hustle. So what I want to tell you is this, guys, in this world, okay, you have to decide. Pay Nolan one, nine, nine. Let's do it. 
25 minutes. Thank you, Peyton Nolan. Thank you, Peyton Nolan. Thank you, Peyton Nolan. He's dealing with living with a father-in-law that's driving him crazy. And the only solace he gets is he knows inspirational nomad ain't going to disappear. If I disappear, something happened, or you just take all my content, which is like 20 years condensed in five, and you watch it the rest of your life. Either way, guys, okay, I thank Pedro Nolan. I thank all my members, Pat Go, Sophie, Space Daddy Serial, everyone in here tonight. I thank the 50% of people who got off their ass to click that free thumbs up and fuck the rest, the other 50, okay, who got a, a fucking butt plug in their ass. Because okay. what I want to tell you in this world, guys, if you are going to wait for someone else to figure out what you want to do, you're going to be waiting most of your life. Because 50% of people can't even de decide to do something for free. So forget about paying a price. You know, forget about like, you know, saving money on rent. If you can't pay the price on where you're going to park, you know, how are you going to get mail? How do you deal with the heat? How do you deal with the cold? Hey guys, look, that's, there's a price to pay. Okay. And like, like, like the scriptures say, you better calculate the cost before you go building something. Now look, love and respect. I'm being a little rough, but guys, you got to wake up. You got to show up okay? or you got to shut up. Can't have it both ways. Okay, you can't call the shots and not even check in the game. Because no one cares where you've been. They just know you haven't been here. And I'm not talking about my channel. I'm talking about whatever you got to do with your life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it, to me, it's always amazing. The one that's never around, as soon as they come around, now they want to tell you what to do. I remember being in Atlantic City and we was on a crap table. Like this. Okay. And it was this bum. Okay, you know he lost all his money or he been strung out. And he was telling me, oh, man, you got to play this. You got to play that. You got to play the hard eight. And I'm looking at him like, oh, man, I got the dice. I got the chips, man. I'm good, man. You know? And then I'm looking at the table. And then they had to escort the guy out. Because I'm saying, look, man. Okay. Don't tell me I need a cooling pillow. Don't tell me I need to play the hard eight. I got this, man. I'm the one with the chips, B. You know what I mean? You can't, yo, you know what I mean? You got to you gotta do your own thing. There's another table for you, man. Okay? So I want to tell you this is a very important message. Okay? This is how people are. They tell, oh, you still bought Bitcoin. Oh, you still bought the index. Oh, you still bought this. Yeah, all right. This is how people are. Okay. They're a butt plug. They're a useless piece of plastic. And your only job is to basically agitate your anus. Some people enjoy that. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I can't believe the stuff people enjoy in this world. <laughs> but life's hard. I guess they got to enjoy something like a butt plug. I don't know. It's crazy. But let's stay positive. Read the rest of the comments and then call night. Space Daddy. Sam, if you ever got a job as a mall Santa, you'll be the realest Santa ever. Hey, guys, I'm great with kids, but I don't want to raise your kids. I told a lot of milfs that, and they still... They still think, well, maybe they got a shot. You ain't got a damn shot. I ain't lying about that. Yeah, you ain't got no damn shot. Thank you, brother. Roderick, damn it, brother. VA Beach is in here strong, man. What's up? What's up, Sam? What's chat, fam? Love life and go for it, except 90% of deliveries. Blessings. My daughters and I are going to the movies tomorrow. <laughs> Work hard, play hard. Get older, play harder, and... Just enjoy your life, brother. But I respect that you're engaged with your daughters. I respect you. I appreciate you. You got a positive attitude. I want nothing but the best for you, Roderick. Shout out to VA Beach. Seth, I can see you playing craps. Well, I was on the crap table heavy, man. A lot of jewelry, a lot of chips. I lost more money than I made, but we tore your house down before they tore all the casinos basically down. Johnny, you are inspirational, Sam. I appreciate that. Early riser, Sam. You are doing a great job on your channel. Well, thank you. Uh, it is really cool to watch you live your dream. I appreciate that. And see your channel evolve. Thank you. To see your passion. Thank you. About life you're living. Hope I said, said that way. Said that. I appreciate that. I, I hear you. I hear you, man. Thank you, early riser. Guys and girls, that's it. 30 minutes. I showed up. You showed up. I appreciate you. And what I want to tell you in this world... 
Johnny Midas, $10 to the whole strong in the fourth quarter. Have a great weekend, Sam. Smiley, thumbs up heart. Johnny Midas, 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 pay the dollar. Johnny Midas, pay the dollar. All my members, Roger, Doug, 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 Doug. Space Day Serial, Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Who else is in here tonight? I want to thank you. Damn it. Oh, thank you so much. Pat, go. Doug, just walked in the rain. Oh, my God. The Pacific Northwest is a disaster. Just walked in the rain at the nature park after. Well, no, I appreciate that. You walked in the rain. I walked in the snow. Walk in inclement weather. Doug, you're changing your life. You and Seth are walking your way to a better life. You and Seth like this, man. Walking to success. Hand clap for both of them. Johnny Mice laughing good. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. I appreciate that. Zolathov, love your bravery. Well, I appreciate that, guys. I want to tell you, ain't that hard? Some things are hard. Some things aren't. Uh, everyone, just focus on what you need to do for you and push yourself a little bit. It gets easier. Uh, and that's the best way I can tell you. Frank and Cat, I appreciate you staying positive. Frank and Cat says, nice, Johnny. I appreciate that. All right, guys and girls, you know what it is. End on a high note. Why? Because after you make the three-pointer, if you get too cocky, the lazy sloth will outrun you to the other side of the court and score a layup. Why? Because you still have to be on guard. Never let your guard down in this world. Never. Because just when you think you won the game, here comes Reggie Miller to steal three inbound passes and shoot a three in Madison Square Garden. I'll never forget that. You better be focused until the last second ticks off the clock of life. Because in this world, it ain't over till it's over. So finish strong. God bless you.